seven years ago, activists uh, against sort of sexual violence uh, at Rhodes University in Grahamstown uh, decided that they were going to take a stand against the silence that, that survivors of sexual violence uh, have, have to endure. And uh, this year, for the first time, it's moved off of Rhodes campus and uh, it's gone national. A lot of our protesters are, are taped across the mouth and that, that it's, a, it's a statement or a symbol of, of, of the silence that uh, survivors of sexual violence have to endure uh, or, feel, or, or feel that they do endure um, because they are shamed by, by society, they, uh, they are blamed for, by society and, um, and really the tape is about kind of the silence that they experience. I wanted to just kind of show what I've been through and how essentially I could become a stronger person because of it. And the support that I'm getting from people by actually by like saying it is actually quite empowering. I think it's a really unfortunate uh, situation in South Africa at the moment that, that rape is not just an everyday occurrence, but a, a rape happens every four minutes. South Africans are desensitized to it. They don't, they don't really they don't really kind of think about it when they hear about it. When you hear about things like uh, like the rape uh, of Anine Boysons, for example, you hear about the, the rape victim in, in India, those those things are seen as different because they are gruesome and, and they've got a, a big shock factor. And unfortunately with the South African audience, um, you need to shock them for them to really take notice of rape at the moment because it has become such a kind of endemic problem. We're just so used to it now. We're we don't expect women to be safe. We expect women to be raped. We expect them when they wear a short skirt that they're putting their lives in danger. We expect that if they go out drinking, they're making a bad decision. End of December 2012, 16-year-old gang raped by three men in the pool. End of December 2012, 13-year-old kidnapped and raped in the pool. 1st of January 2013, mother raped, son murdered, Polokwai. 3rd of January 2013, mother raped by son, Hoots raped. Being taped was, I think, <laughs> the greatest taboo that everyone saw today, like why are people being taped? So there was a lot of attention and there was one disturbing circumstance that I went through when these guys look at us and then they're like, Oh, you taped, so you can't speak, so um, I can just swear to you and you can't say anything back to me. I've never been so angry in my life. I've never wanted to speak so much in my life. And I wish that if a woman who's gone through rape, they could have that urge to just let it out and speak. Everyone was just really supportive, and I think that's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's what the best part about today is just seeing how many people there are who are supportive. I think we have a problem in South Africa where men believe they have more power, they have more rights, they have more say, and they can make comments about just raping a woman because she she dared to claim a space in society. And I know that that has been said, that's, that's been spoken about quite a lot in Hillbrow gang rapes. Men's, men have come out and said that they will do this because they need to show women where their place is. And it's time that we start challenging men on that. I don't want people to think that it's okay as men or that there's any good reason to um, feel as though you can be dominant or you know as well as to show support for other people to show um, solidarity as a man with other men who wish to make a difference. It is so so shameful to experience sexual violence and why should it be shameful? Why should we be saying that it's your fault? Why is there all the stigma? Why when people go to the clinic do they get asked how much they were drinking? What were they wearing? What did they do to provoke the rape? I mean, you cannot ask for a rape. By, I mean, by the mere definition, you cannot ask to be raped. And yet, that's what we're saying to people. We're saying you asked for it. And people are absolutely terrified of reporting. They're terrified of the consequences. And so the perpetrators just walk off free. They know that there are no consequences for them. Everything falls on the shoulders 
of those who have been raped and that is atrocious. We should feel ashamed as a nation.